All right, you know, these are the days when I love my job and I hate my job. And you show up and they're like, ooh, look at this new tool we've got. This is a 110 powered hydraulic stretcher shrinker. And it will actually do, I'm doing 18 gauge right now. You can see how this thing is shrinking. This will go up to 14 gauge, which is almost a, the thickness of a bumper. And look at this thing actually eats metal, takes and puts huge shrinks in a panel that normally, let's say you had a little kick shrinker, you would sit there and just ding, 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 ding. Man, this thing really, really eats metal. Check this out. You can take a panel, shrink it down really fast. Look at that bowl. That's crazy. There's a lot of shrink. So obviously now you can shrink the edges. You can dome this up with the wheel or a power hammer. Let me try an angle piece on here. This is about inch and a half across, something like that. And normally anytime you get over an inch, doing some shrinking becomes kind of a pain. So uh, let's test this out, see how it does. Look how nice it bends at. And really the beauty is if you can tell like how flat the panel ends up. So at the top, you know, this is a lot of shrink for a piece this big. And a, a good application for this would be, you know, sometimes on like a 32 Ford, you get like an inner panel on top of the rail. You want to use like really thick metal to make that floor strong and it's hard to shrink. Or you want to use some thicker gauge stuff. You know, if you want to build something out of thicker material than normal, I mean, it's laughing at, this is 18 gauge and it's just laughing at it. So it's got an adjustable top so you can go up and down and uh, it's actually pneumatically released. So it's got air pressure to let the thing come back up so it goes up fast and it doesn't have a dual hydraulic. So it's really smooth and accurate. Look at that. Usually inch and a half is really hard to get a curve like that. And I can actually see that the metal is getting thicker as it pushes itself together. It's really hard to get an inch and a half flange to do that in 18 gauge. So 